Welcome back and welcome to another video here on this YouTube channel. My name is Mitchell Pearson, consultant and trainer at Pragmatic Works. Today I want to take a look. This is a very quick Power BI tip. How do I create a date table? I come across this all the time and I always point people to different blogs and a lot of times I find myself explaining it, uh, but I'm just going to walk you through a really quick example. In fact, we are going to take a look at a blog by the man, the myth, the legend, you know who I'm talking about. That's right, Devin Knight of the Knight Brothers. He has a blog that's been out there for a very long time and we're gonna be taking a look at that right here at devinknightsequel.com. We're gonna to go to the category Power Query and right here at the top, 2015, this blog is six years old. Now let me just specify, you can create, there are very involved uh, date tables that you can create the way that I'm about to show you. There's a lot of scripts out there. You can create these through DAX, you can create these through ILM, which we're gonna do through Power Query. You, I would always recommend though, however, if you have a date table within your organization, ask your IT team, ask your data warehousing team, ask your analytics team, whatever the team calls themselves, ask them if they have an internal date table that you can connect to and you can use because it's always going to have some really good information that's going to be critical to your reports. And so this is a great place to start. It's probably not the ending point, if you know what I mean, but it's gotten me out of some pretty sticky situations, being able to just to create a date table very quickly. So let's walk through this together. So I'm going to open up creating a date dimension with Power Query. I'm going to try to make sure that I put this in the video. If I forget, if I miss it, if I don't put this in the video, please make me aware. Let me know, drop a comment, hit that like and subscribe button and let me know and I'll make sure that I add it there. Okay. I get emails all the time for people, YouTube and whatnot. Uh, just let me know. All right. So we're going to take a look at this real quick. I'm going to go down. I'm going to just copy out this code. Everything that is from the commented section at the very top to the very bottom, right? I'm going to comment that out. We're going to flip back over to Power BI and we are almost done. The end of the tunnel is near. We're going to go to get data and from the get data list, we're going to do blank query. All right, so we're going to be pulling a blank query. Now, when you hit blank query, it launches the Power Query Editor. And in the Power Query Editor, what I'm going to do is I'm going to click from the home ribbon. I'm going to click on that advanced editor right there. Open that up, delete everything and paste my code into that box. So we'll click advanced editor, control A, backspace, control V, that one right there, boom. And then we'll click done. Now when I click done, what we've done is we've essentially created a function. We put in a start date and an end date, and then this function goes out and creates a table for us. So I'm just gonna give it something very simple here, you know, like one, one of, let's say 2018. And then down here at the bottom, I'll do 1231 of you know 2021 the current year and then i'll go ahead and say hey i want to invoke this query and when i invoke that query i have a date table ready to go i do need to go ahead and take a look at the data types here modify those a little bit if i ever want to change this date table right here that just got created i can always go back to the source in the applied step section right here you see in the formula bar and i can update my dates so if you ever want to add another year to the end, add a couple years to the end, you can always come back in here and modify it right there. Super easy to do. In fact, if you know Elm, you can make this dynamic to update automatically. But nonetheless, that's not part of this message today, this video. So the last thing you would do is just come through here, look at month number, make that a whole number, look at week number, make that a whole number. The quarter would be a text. And so I would generally come through and update each of these individually very quickly here. And then once I'm done, you do want to make sure you make the day to date. Very, very important text and day of week text. So now I have a date table here. We'll give this a nice, beautiful name, something like date table, very elegant there. And then I will click on close and apply. And when I click close and apply, that table is going to be loaded into my data model. So right now we have date and now we have date table. In fact, if we go over here and look at our date table, there it is. Now, does it have all the columns you want? Probably not, but you can build on it from here. And like I said, there are many other scripts out there. I hope you enjoyed this super quick video. Not quite sure how long it was, but I'm trying to keep it under five minutes. So we're gonna end it right there. Make sure to hit the like and subscribe button. And if you like what you saw here and you want some formal training on Power BI, DAX, Azure, many other things we do, let us know. Thank you.